Hey everyone, while I asked Largo residents what they loved and didn't love so much about living in Largo, Florida, and boy did I get a lot of responses. Today I'm gonna to break it down into the top 10 pros and cons of living in Largo, Florida, so stay tuned. So Largo is the third largest city in Pinellas County and the fourth largest in the Tampa Bay area with approximately 85,000 residents. Today I'm gonna to mix it up and do an alternate between pros and cons. Number two of the pros is my favorite, and I wonder what you might think about con number four, so let me know. Let's start with pro number one, close proximity to the beach. Depending on where you are in Largo, you could live three minutes or 15 minutes to some awesome beaches like Indian Rocks Beach and Bel Air Beach. Not a bad pro to start with. Number one con, lack of nightlife. I heard a lot that everything closes early. On a positive note, there's a new project called Horizon West Bay, which when constructed hopes to attract new restaurants, cafes, retailers to downtown Largo, plus a new city hall. Pro number two, the parks and gardens. Few highlights are the Botanical Garden, Walsingham Park, and the Largo Central Park, to name a few. Make sure you check out Central Park in December, as it's known for its famous holiday light displays. Con number two, homeless population was mentioned often, and the need for housing options for them was an ongoing desire from residents. Pro number three, great city facilities like the recreation center behind me called Highland Rec Center with an amazing pool. Plus, don't miss the Largo Cultural Center, known as the Central Park Performing Arts Center with its live performances, theater, concerts, and community arts. Number three con is traffic was mentioned often, but to be honest, I don't think I've ever done a review of a city where residents don't complain about this issue. I know there are many new roads and highways being built and completed as we speak to help with some of those issues in Pinellas County. On a note of traffic, I also heard that the red lights take forever. I have no factual evidence of this, but I definitely am not a huge fan of long red lights. Pro number four, being in the dead center of Pinellas County can easily get to cities like St. Pete, Dunedin, and Tarpon Springs, all great places to visit. And con number four, there are still some areas of Largo that aren't as desirable and have higher crime. There's a certain term or nickname that some people call Largo. I'm not gonna mention it here on this video, but it came up often from residents. Pro number five, good elementary schools like Anona, Southern Oak, and Oakhurst. I did a whole video on public and private schools in Pinellas County, so check that out. And con number five, I heard a lot about storm water drainage and issues with infrastructure. This area has been hit hard lately with heavy rains and definitely has caused some issues throughout the county. Hey, do you want more information or thinking about moving to Largo or anywhere in the Tampa Bay area? Well, as always, remember to call Paul and have a great day. Bye-bye.